Welcome back everyone, I'm Craven and this is Tokyo Xanadu and yes, you can see where we are, we are at the arcade because I thought since this is opening up, I might as well try for some points. So I got to, to play all the games a little bit and the one I saw that was overall the more medals we could earn was the fishing game. Boring as hell, but... I think time-wise, it does give you the most metal for uh, your time. So I won a few, and I think uh, I will probably do it some more later, so other characters can get the item as well. Because personally, I do like uh, the V plush because of the all-status ailments and the attack plus 125 critical hit rate on 50 HP. Yeah, it has a lot of things going for it. But the main thing I wanted to do this for is that I could at least get the Morimaru uh, plush to add in my room. So let's add that there. And of course, since we do have uh, the currency for it, I'm gonna buy one V plush to have enough medals left to go back to fishing. Because I have seen that if you wanna be able to play long enough to get a decent chance of getting that uh, Kingfish, you need to have around 10,000 metal points, so I want to make sure that we at least have that. And I think, knowing me, I will probably end up with uh, one of these on every character, which means I'm ha gonna have a lot of fishing left to do. Alright. Um, I'm gonna change this one because... Ooh, stealthy snacking. Series 1? Does it mean there's going to be a Series 2 as well? Alright. Let's equip this. Yeah, so it does mean we need to use more flying attacks. <laughs> just to get uh, the power out of it. I think we can do that. Alright, and the other thing is... Is that between the episodes where I was busy, I thought... Where is the cafe I had to work at? Because I didn't find a lot of episodes so I walked past it and I saw hey here is Cafe Barin so let's go in and have a look. I heard that the salary men consider this area a place of healing as well as entertainment. <laughs> I find that the thought to be very interesting. I wonder what they mean by healing. Probably getting served by girls in cute maid costumes. I think that's what they mean by healing. I think we all do. I'd very much like to experience this Japanese custom for myself. Recently, I heard a Tao talk uh, about a shop where one could enjoy some refreshing tea. He looked confused when I asked him to show me the way, but he took me to this bar. I still don't get uh, some things, but Japanese people are so polite that it makes exploring fun. <laughs> I hope one day I can experience that myself. Oh, it's the restroom. Nisho, you've been here since noon. <laughs> As an investor, it's part of my job to come out to places and socialize. How's that for a convincing reason? Sounds logical on the surface anyway, but really, you're here because it's your hobby, right? <laughs> ah, you're right about that. A lot of deals can be made uh, over the Saifound nowadays. It's super boring staying home by myself. The menu is varied and the bartender is super nice, so it's a good place to spend time. Since I have time and money, there's no real reason not to hang out here. <laughs> I can't argue with that. With investing comes a certain amount of risk. It may not look like it, but I'm always busy. I have to keep on top of global economic trends. It's actually a lot of work. It actually is, and I love the look of these uh, coffee bags here. Really nice and detailed. Ah, cool. It's been a while. Oh, hey, yeah, it's been almost a month. Oh, I was uh, want to apologize for the other day. Sorry for making you stay so late. It is always a trial having to deal with belligerent customers. Oh, no worries. You did pay me extra after all. Ah, uh, you still have some time until your shift, but uh, did you want to start now? Honestly, I'd really appreciate it if you could start early. I still have to track down that gate Hiragi uh, asked me to find. Sorry, but do you think you could live without me for a little bit longer? Mm, of course. 
just be sure to come back when you're done with your errands. That will definitely do. That will do. Because we have uh, one more location we need to visit. And that's of course the Station Square. And yes, I know Co's room is still up there, but I want to go there after exploring Station Square. Because I'm hoping that maybe at the stores here we'll find even more stuff to put uh, in Co's room so we can put it there. Alright. What the? Located an eclipse. The percentage display shows the strength of the reading. I should probably check out uh, with uh, Hiragi. Takesaka, have you found anything? Yeah, I got a reading at the moment I arrived at Station Square. What's with the percentage displayed uh, on the screen? Oh, gate proximity level. The higher the number, the closer you are to the gate. Keep a close eye on the screen and be sure to pay attention when it hits uh, 100%. Once you get a max reading, use the installed app to force the gate to appear. Alright, let me give it a shot. Well, I can already imagine where it's gonna be. It's probably gonna be underneath the staircase at the road where nobody is usually. <laughs> Search for hidden gates in the real world by using the Echo app. Eclipse search automatically activates once you enter an area with a new gate nearby. Press the LB button when the gate is 100%. Okay, so we can explore everywhere without accidentally activating uh, the Eclipse we need to go into. Great. Alright, let's look around and talk to everyone. As my mom always says, things say... Uh, you use all the time should be bought in bulk when on sale. Seemingly uh, obvious, but she's very definition of logical. As my mom always say, think use all the time should be bought in bulk. Oh, my usual detergent is at the cheapest now. It only goes on sale twice a year and I'm almost out. <laughs> I think I'll buy two. It's kind of embarrassing, but I've been putting on weight since last year. I think it's time to get serious about my diet. It's kind of embarrassing. Yeah, I'm no. I'm busy at the moment myself as well. No, it's a well-known fact that uh, physicians and pharmacists rarely, if ever, take cold medicine. But I rarely ever get sick, so I never take over-the-counter drugs of any kind. However, when it comes to eclipse-based medicine, I create, I do not have a choice. I don't really have anyone or anything to test them on, so I have to try them all myself. I can recommend the medicine to people that I wouldn't uh, take myself with the, without a clear conscience. I can test my kids based medicine on anyone else, so I try them myself first. Yeah, and since he's still here, I'm pretty sure it's good. <laughs> We are slowly getting to the point that we can start buying the more expensive stuff because everything here is relatively expensive but the gems we are getting are more, we are getting a lot of uh, pretty valuable items in the Eclipse as well. So I think surely, surely but surely money is getting to be a better thing to handle. Ah, it's a bit more expensive but maybe we should buy some pre-made dishes at the department store. Trying to find a way to save money can become a chore, so I like to splurge uh, every now and then. Yeah, I think we all do. Uh, even when I'm doing other work, I can't help but think about the festival planning. I have to find a way to pull everything off or I'm going to lose my mind. I have so many other things to take care of, but I need to clear my head somehow. Uh, I wish I could see into the future. Ooh, I don't know if I would, because if something good happens, it's nice and you can be happy about it, but when something bad happens, you know it's coming and you can't avoid it. This would drive you insane, wouldn't it? Uh, we're holding a Mother's Day uh, promotion at Star Camera right now. Our health and beauty corner has a number of new and exciting items. If you love your mother, let us show her a gift from Star Camera. Oh, have your heart... Uh, Set on the latest about the Cypher 7? Supposedly it's supposed to come out at the end of the year, but I don't think I can wait that long. Uh, 
Well, I can wait all the time as needed. Uh, the bus uh, to the Metropolitan Hospital. We want the number two stop right over there. Would you like me to walk you over there? Oh, are you sure? That would be really helpful. Oh, you're so nice, officer. Thank you. <laughs> oh, this is nothing. If you'd like, I'll carry your bags for you. And decent public servant. I hear that most guys don't bother getting point cards. I wonder why. It just seems like a waste. While I don't like stingy guys, I also don't like guys who don't know how to save money by shopping smart. Well, for me it's most... Well, when places do have uh, point cards, I do tend to get them, but I always forget that I do have them. So usually the points expire before I can actually use them on something good. Yeah. So not that I don't shop smart, it's that I'm forgetful when it comes to shopping smart. Oh, I was hoping to get a good love fortune from the god app, but instead I got a get a job? What in the hell is with that? I installed it quick like. I was hoping to get a good love fortune. Yeah, if even the app says you uh, need to, to get a job, you better get a job. Ah, oh, Saburo, there you are. Hmm, what do you want, Takesaka? What do you want? I'm a little busy right now. Don't worry, it won't take long. I explained about collecting overdue books for the library. Ah, that's right. I did borrow a book a while back. Here you go. Ooh, the military mania quarterly. Military stuff? I didn't know you were a military fanboy. <laughs> Not too bright, are we? That's hardly a book for filthy army casuals. Military mania quarterly is a definite source of info for those who truly appreciate the art of war. And thus the issue is god tier, even by the quarterly high standards. It covers the latest Valiant gear. God tier? And Valiant gear? That's the robot suit uh, thing used by the National Defense Force, right? Ah, exactly. Valiant gear is the product of man's ambition made reality with Japanese technology might. Ah, I recommend reading it if you're interested. You'll be enthralled by the greatness. Well, I do like cool looking stuff. But back on topic. Next time, return your stuff you borrow, okay? Ah, right here. I have a few copies of that issue, but as a true enthusiast, I couldn't help but reading it again. Our library has a lot of cool stuff on the shelves. I think I should head back there sometime. Oh, crap. Uh, what? Oh, <laughs> now if you'll excuse me, the next monorail is arriving. For I must gaze most lovingly upon this technological marvel. Fare thee well. <laughs> Yikes. Obsessing <laughs> over a train? You're easier to hop aboard, I guess. Whatever. At least I tracked down all of the books. I better head back to the library before I forget. Which is very sound advice, but let's uh, read it first. That way it will increase our wisdom and be locked in or near. That way we can give it back with a clear conscience. We have a lot of customers who only buy tickets when they receive a good God's app fortune. I'm not sure if that app has anything to do with it, but I noticed that with an increase in customer comes an increase in winners. Alright, let's see. I handed over all my weekly lottery tickets. Yes, I'd exchange them at one at a time. Nothing once again. Oh, there's always next time. Remember, you can't win if you don't play. Well, I did have god luck this time, so... This should be it for me. Yeah, we're gonna win all of them. <laughs> I hope luck will find you. I hope so too. Becoming a beguiling boss. If I tried to do this with my co-workers, I'd never get things done. I need to find a book better suited for my personality. Yeah, I'll just run the place like you want to, cause if you got that position, it's got to be for a reason. So keep doing what you're doing. Oh, all the store manager's recommendation books are great. He's far more reliable than any reviewer out there. 
Ah, cool. You have perfect timing. Do you want this? Ooh, a speaker poster. This is a speaker poster? Exactly. Due to a flood of customer requests, I held an idle fair last week. It's one of the special event posters they give to stores. They'll feel wrong just to throw it away. Or is it something you are not interested in? <laughs> Actually, I've just started getting into their music. Since you're offering, sure, I'll take it. Thanks. I think I'll put it up in my room or something. And if I'm done organizing the shelves, I have to make pop-up stands for the recommendation corner. The pop-up stands are really important at bookstores, so I better put all my effort into making them. Yeah, cause uh, that's where people go to get advice on which books to read. Hmm, a special Train Friends monthly issue devoted to the Sleeper Train series? And it's super cheap because it's the first issue. Hold up, it's always like that. What should I do? I can afford it with the cash I have on hand and all, but... <laughs> yeah, when it says an offer, you do get tempted a lot more. That's how Steam always gets me in buying games that I would never play in the end. <sighs> the deals, the deals. It definitely is that. A bunch of popular Boys and Girls comics had a mass release last week. Even if you haven't been following any of the titles, just grab one with a cover that appeals to you. Ooh, three, new one, perfect. A popular book that will help you understand your feline friend. Make sure to give it to Asuka when she's with you. Cooking book, tofu. And Mormia today. Thank you very much. Ginger milkshake. More wisdom. And perfectly catty. No one cares about this stuff. Okay, so that, this is this is a definitive gift that we need to give to Asuka. I thought it just said there as flavor text or anything like that, so yeah. Alright, we'll give it to her. But it is clear that Ko does not care about cats in the slightest. This is really sure here. Alright, let's go to Star Camera and then deliver back the books to Hello. the library. And then we can come back to uh, find the Eclipse. Ah, Cyphones has come a long way. If you can use them to go online, take pictures and even buy things. But when it comes to listening to music, I prefer to use a dedicated music player. Even if the sound quality is almost the same, it just doesn't feel right. Hmm, well, it's kind of old. Maybe they don't have it. Wait, this voice. Is that uh, Kukuyama? Oh, <laughs> you. You're Takisaka, right? Was it really that easy to find me? Well, your voice is pretty unique. But now that I think about it, I haven't seen you around school lately. Yeah, I've been busy with lessons. Being an idol is a lot harder than it looks, alright? You'd never understand. <laughs> Jeez, no need to be so prickly. Are you still mad that I didn't accept your autograph? No. Uh, anyway, just go over there or something. I'm really busy, okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, if I had event points, I'm sure you would have loved me to uh, stay with you. I'm sure of it. Oh, with so many game app coming out, it seems there are fewer console games being released. Sales aren't as good as they used to be, so I can't be helped, but honestly, it is really depressing. Yeah, and you just saw a clip of a fight that I just recently had in our other series called the Steel 2. Yeah. Beautiful remembering uh, how well that went. Oh, they're having a Mother's Day promotion, so their beauty related goods are on sale. Oh, maybe I should treat myself to a new dryer. Oh, it appears that Akane is interested in that trendy fortune-telling app. I'm a bit surprised that she'd be interested in something like that. I guess you really can't always judge a book by its cover. She's truly a woman of mystery. Recently, this fortune-telling app has become popular among middle school and high school girls. 
is reputed to be surprisingly accurate, but some folks have been receiving disconcerting fortunes. Being familiar with the art of fortune telling myself, I am more than a little interested. Chief Sata Satanaka has been staring daggers at me recently. I understand that he's worried about my work, but it is rather suffocating. I yes, should be fine. New elements as well. Ooh! Event item. I don't know why, but it's something new, so I want it. <laughs> Still no oils. Hopefully, the new dungeon we're about to go into will help us with that. Or is something else we can unlock? Because unlocking things makes our character stronger and better. So we definitely want to be able to do that. Alright, that's it for Star Camera. That means this area is done for. We only have the Eclipse to find. So let's head back to the Academy. And of course to the library so we can deliver the books. And finish up that side quest as well. And maybe then we'll make a quick side trip to our room 2 to hang up the new stuff. Takisaka, welcome back. Is that...? Yep, I got all the books. Depositing all the books into Miss Komachi's loving embrace. You... you did it! You got all three, and everything looks to be in order. Oh, Takisaka, I can't thank you enough. You wouldn't believe the places I had to go to get these, but I'm glad I could help. <laughs> I'll put these uh, lovelies away right now. We get new books in every month, you know. Please come take a look then you'd like. Uh, sure, maybe I will. Of course we will. It will increase our wisdom if there's anything new. Received royal milk tea. 200 gems and more virtue. Alright, perfect. Let's go to the ghost room. Oh yeah, I have something that would be perfect for my room. Okay, let's go ahead and... I put up this pickup poster. Oh, wow, I didn't think it would change the room's vibes so much. Oh well, it is what it is. Hmm? That voice is... Are they coming to uh, glare at my poster? Uh, hold on, I'm coming. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Any reason why you decided to drop by out of the blue? <laughs> I didn't know such thing. <laughs> Yeah, I need to drop something off here. Hmm? That's why you're here? Well, I do have some free time on my hands right now. But don't you have a concert to go to, uh, Ryota? I wasn't really worried uh, about that all that much. Okay, maybe we can hang out for a while. I haven't really seen you guys around recently. You guys want coffee or something? <laughs> but wow, this room is pretty neat. I thought that with you living by yourself and all, it'll be a total disaster area. Oh, doesn't uh, Shuri come by occasionally to help you tidy up? Uh, yeah. I'm always telling her that she doesn't need to do that, but... Dude! You should be thanking God that she does that for you. <laughs> right on cue. Oh, is this me? Or have you been getting more stuff for your place lately? I don't remember you having a cactus the last time I was here. Oh yeah, I bought it at the flower shop on a whim. It's easy to take care of, and I thought it lightened up the place a little. <laughs> I have to admit that a little bit of greenery does help calm the mind some. Maybe I should get something similar for my house too. Yo, forget about the plant. 
there is something else I want to ask you about. Where did you get that speaker poster? It's one of those uh, promotional posters they put up in stores. You can even buy them online. Ah, so it's rare then. It's uh, just sort of filled in my lap, so I thought I'd better put it up for the hell of it. Oh, show some respect, damn it! I've wanted that poster ever since it came out, but I can't find one anywhere. Ah, oh, screw it. Enjoy the poster, you unworthy bastard. Okay. Oh, it looks like we've been talking longer than we thought. Ryota, we should be. Nope. There's still one thing left on the list. We hang uh, out at one of your guys' friends' house. There's a matter of hidden treasure. Come again? Yeah, he's looking for naughty uh, magazines. <laughs> Oh, now that you live alone, I'm guessing you've gotten lazy about hiding your stash. Gird your loins, go. Today I will mask your deeply buried perversions. This is the office spot. Nah, not enough space. Maybe you just leave it on your bookshelf? <laughs> Looks like he's enjoying himself. He does the same thing every time he comes by my place. My god, what are you, 12? Stop looking through my stuff. Time flew by as we hung out and chilled. I showed Ryota and Jun off as they headed back home. Ooh, maximum HP increase. That makes uh, this room all the worthwhile. But I still have one item, so do I need to go back out and in again? Because there's the poster. There's a plant. Here, the Morimaru plush. You can keep it in your room, I guess. Why isn't it showing up anywhere? I thought I saw an icon somewhere right there. The speaker poster is happy where it is. The cactus is happy where it is. Yeah, but I have other things I want to make happy here. There's no hidden things I can do here, so... Oh well. Weird. Maybe next time. Let's get uh, back to uh, Station Square. Alright, let's Hello, find it. Arika. I think it's uh, around here. Okay, now to fire up the app and make the gate appear. Easy enough. Holy crap, it worked! Ah, it seemed like you found it. Hiragi, you were already here? This gate is a different color than all the others. That color indicates it's phase 1, basically. The eclipse is relatively stable and not too dangerous. At least the main enemy at this labyrinth is an Elder Creed, if that helps any. Elder Creeds? Oh, those are the monsters we've been mainly going up against, right? Yes. Eclipses with Elder Creeds are phase 2. When they get to that level, a gate that uh, eclipse can occur spontaneously. The red gates uh, that we've been encountering before were of that variety. I see. So this yellow gate will turn red eventually if we don't deal with it right now? <laughs> Correct. There are some cases where it stays the same for a few years, but there, are, there is the possibility of it turning phase 2 instantly, causing Elder Greed to appear. And that's why we don't have to track them down and take care of them before they have a chance to change. Ah, so that's what uh, you've been up to then. Hmm, <laughs> more or less. Anyway, since we found it, let's clear it out. If you need to prepare, Take care of that right now. Talk to Sora when you want to head in. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. 
A phase one eclipse. We should head in since we were the ones to find it. If you need time to prep, you better get to it. I'll be standing by right here. Okay. So why does she suddenly say to talk to Sora when you want to get in? Hmm. Okay, I want to check Nia really quickly. Okay, only Eclipse one thing is still on here. So do we need to go to where she is? Or did I just misunderstood the entire thing of what she was saying? Is he meaning that if we interact with the Eclipse that we talk to Sora? Uh, I think it is. Sorry, if you'd like, come by and drop by the club later for it, everyone. Really? Oh, those cookies look amazing. Thanks, Ayumi. <laughs> then I've got something to look forward to after the match. Yay. Alright. Let's get back then. Or... Yes, now it triggers nicely. Oh yeah, I have something that would be perfect for my room. Okay, let's go ahead and... I placed the Morimaru plush. Morimaru, I have to admit that the character does have a unique charm. It seems like he's always doing events at the Across Tower. I should check him out sometime. Alright, that should do it. I should clear up some space just in case I get any more stuff. Alright. So basically he just uh, cleaned up everything. Alright, now I'm ready for Station Square Eclipses. It does mean that from now on it's probably even wiser to go by every region we can get to to check out the people there. There might be an extra eclipse with possibly new items, new enemies and stuff for us to grind. So yeah. Hmm, I see. I didn't know a gate was here. Sorry about this, Sora. I'm also sorry for calling you out here even though this has nothing to do with the club. I hope it's alright. I'm just glad I'm able to help. <laughs> Thanks. Well, let's get going. There is a powerful S-tier greed lurking in the heart of the Labyrinth. Let's just uh, get through it as quickly as possible and then defeat it. Got it. When exploring a free dungeon or a previously cleared area, you can exit it at any time you wish. To leave, press start from the back button while in the minimap. Alright. Option available when you're visiting areas or in free dungeons. Uh, Ferudian Labyrinth. Yes. Yeah, checking out the enemies will be more of a thing when you have more characters than you can take along with you. So you know who to bring. About fighting styles. Ko, Asuka and Sora have their own strength and fighting styles. Try out each character for yourself and learn how to use each one effectively. Ko, a fighter for any situation, his raging gear hits in the right area. His power attack disseminates enemies around him. All around her for all situations. Asuka, her skills are easy to use and highly effective. Her range attacks hit long distances repeatedly. Physical and magical attack specialist. Uh, Sora. Extremely agile, she specializes in a fury of punches. Her flying attack makes her a great aerial fighter. Swift and hard hitter. Ooh, if she's a flying attack uh, specialist, the uh, V uh, thing from the arcade would be good for her as well. Start. Well, that's what we like to say, but I'm sorry to uh, disappoint you all, but we're gonna leave the episode right here. Next time, we're gonna start this dungeon and complete it and see what that S greed is at the end of this dungeon. But for now, I think uh, this is a good uh, point to leave it. So, until next time, I wish you all a great night, morning, day, wherever you are. And if you're still here, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and be back next time as we're gonna conquer this dungeon. <laughs> see you then. Bye bye.